Hey, what's up? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do PPC, that's pay per click, with Facebook. So, Facebook has tons of ads. You can see right here ads are popping up. That's how they make all of their money. It's all based on ads. So, what if you can make an ad that's super, super targeted and send people straight to your sales page or straight to your opt in page? That way, you can create leads, create customers and have a pretty much endless flow of traffic. Pretty cool, right? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create ads and the best ads that work, okay? So for this Facebook PPC uh, video, what I wanted to talk about are promoted post ads. Okay, these are the ads, you know, I've done a lot of Facebook advertising. These are the ads that have worked the best for me and uh, I think have the most, uh, you know tons of different things you can do with it so for these promoted post ads these are ads that you are putting up actually on your Facebook posts okay so you need to have first of all create a Facebook create a Facebook page if you don't have one around your topic or niche you should do it anyway uh, no matter what your topic is there's people on Facebook who would love to be part of a community and when you're creating that Facebook page don't create it based around your product okay that's a big mistake a lot of people do create it based around your topic so if it's real estate say um, I'm a real estate broker or something like that not real estate secret handbook that shouldn't be your page because no one's gonna like uh, your product unless they have already bought it and that's not the point the point is to get new customers not old customers okay because that wouldn't make sense. They're not going to buy the same product again. Uh, well, for this method, at least, it's all about new customers to create a community of people. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create an ad. And right here, uh, this little thing up here on the top right allows you to go and click Create Ad. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is a page post engagement. Okay. Create an ad that boosts your posts, increases likes, comments, shares, videos, that kind of stuff. So now you might be thinking, wait, so this is going to, uh, what is it going to do? Is it going to increase my page and get likes to my page? No, nope, that's actually not what this is about. You can get people to just click your link and go straight to your website. That doesn't have to go to your page at all. Okay. So for this one, choose a page that you have, say it's this yoga one. I need to first make a post on that yoga page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a post right now. And what I'm going to do for this post is I'm actually going to put in a link. So this is the post that I'm going to promote on Facebook ads and I'm going to put in a link. So I'm going to put in like this slash slash www.mywebsite.com. Okay. So this is going to be my um, website. This is not my website. This is someone else's, but I just wanted to put this in. How about like yoga.com? That way it's a little bit, makes a little bit more sense here. So let's create a post. So I'm going to say something like, um, learn my seven secrets to doing handstands in yoga. And I'm going to put in the link now. Okay. I'm just going to put in yoga.com. So hopefully this pulls up an image. Not really. So let's try something else. Um, let's do yoga work. That's a place that I do yoga at. <laughs> All right. So let's see if it pulls up an image here. All right. Cool. So now it's pulling up an image. So what I'm going to do here, when you put in your website, even if you don't have an image, you can actually edit the image. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but this whole image is now clickable and it's going to go to your page. Okay, so very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click post now. All right, and so now it's in here. I'm going to click continue. And now I can do some really cool targeting stuff. So this is my ad right now with a nice juicy image. Um, and what I can do, scroll down here, is I can target my demographic. So my demographic for this yoga course is probably around, I'd say, 16 to old, older people like yoga too, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to target women, a little bit more popular for women. Um, 
I have more demographics here. So this is really cool. I'm going to do interested in, okay? And I could say yoga, right? And these are people who are interested in yoga. How cool is that? Or maybe I do in, interested in uh, different kinds of yoga here. I can do as well, yoga journal, because that means that they're paying for yoga information. That's good. Um, tons of different things I can do here. I can do, this is connections. Now we don't want people that are connected to our page. We want to advertise only to people who are not on our page for now, because you know I don't want to keep getting clicks of people that have probably already seen it. Um, maybe you do want to keep getting clicks because that's kind of like retargeting and people, the more people see it again and again, the more they want to click it. More categories right here. There's some crazy stuff. Okay. I'm not going to go through all of them because you can see people who have birthdays, people ha who have, you know, different families, um, their job status, their market, tons of crazy stuff. What kind of device they have, what they're interested in. All right, and here is my campaign. So what I'm going to do for a campaign is I'm going to keep it low. I'm just going to do $10 right now per day so I can see how it works, okay? So I want to run my campaign starting from today. Now here's interesting right here. Bid for page post engagement. I don't like doing these at all, okay? What I like doing is bid for clicks because Facebook cares about engagement. Well, I don't care about engagement. I just want to get people onto my site. Now, if my goal was to get people to like my page, that would be different, but I want to bid for clicks because that's what I care about, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I can automatically optimize my bid to get more clicks or I can do C CPC. Now, I recommend you try both, okay? See, it says for most advertisers, optimizing for your objective usually performs better, and that's true. So my objective is clicks. All right, here's my bid. It automatically sets it in at 60 cents per click. That's fine, I'm just gonna leave it like that. A lot of times it's lower, um, and it'll actually, it will just, that will be the maximum. So it will be lower than that. And then I place my order. Now, what do we wanna talk about here? Well, this image, okay, you wanna make sure that it is a good image. It is something that makes people wanna click because that's what they're gonna see. This they'll see, sure, but the image really helps. Having like a red outline is going to help your image get more clicks. Um, and really, the most important thing that a lot of people mess up on for these Facebook ads is they worry about getting the most clicks possible, right? Making it super like clicky and you know it has yellow everywhere and it's very in your face and maybe it's a little misleading, that's not good because what's happening is you're getting customers, you're getting clicks, you're paying for visitors that aren't super targeted. So that's a mistake to think that you wanna get everyone to click your ad. You don't wanna get people who are 12 years old and you know interested in video games to click your ad. You don't want that. So you wanna get the most targeted people. So here, it's good to make sure that your copy of your ad is targeted. Okay, you don't try to get too hypey on it because if you get too hypey, you're gonna see that people are just gonna start clicking your ad because oh dang, that's crazy. I want to see this, and they might not be interested in yoga. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna post it. I'm gonna click continue. All right, and here is my ad right there, nice and juicy. So what I can do right now is I want to show you it. This is the preview in the news feed. Okay? So let me show you what it looks like real quick. It would look like this. Look at that. Nice and juicy. And when someone clicks my ad either here or here, they're going to go straight to my website. All right? So that is how you can run ads through Facebook for pay-per-click. It's all about testing things, okay guys? So even if you don't get it right the first time, I want you to test some different ads, different copy, um, and you can even play around with different kinds of ads, like maybe you can have a video here, um, that works as well, uh, or maybe your whole point is to get clicks to your page, you're going to want to check out the getting Facebook likes video, and you just want to really test, okay, I've run so many ads on Facebook, and it's all about testing, some ads don't work, but once you get the ones that do, you can run them forever. 
which is awesome. So this is how to do pay-per-click with Facebook. It's all about testing and you know, st making sure you're looking at your analytics here. Facebook has really cool analytics and, uh, and yeah, so just make sure you keep track of it. You don't put too much daily, uh, daily costs because you know, I did that in the beginning. I put $1,000 and my $1,000 went like that and I didn't get an ROI at all. Um, so you want to start scaling up slow so you can kind of track it and see what's happening. And this is an awesome way to get basically unlimited traffic. And you just have to figure out the metrics of it so you're paying and you're making more than you're paying. So with this, real quick, since you're running your own ads to your own product, what you want to do is you want to make sure you capture their emails because even if you're making you're spending 50 cents and you're only making 40 cents for example that would be useless if you're not collecting emails but if you're collecting emails instead of just 40 cents you can remarket to them and then it'll go over the cost that you're paying and you can sell them other products and services so make sure you capture their email when you're doing your own testing. You can send them straight to an opt-in and then to your product or in your product you can have an opt-in for when they want to buy it. Okay. So Adam's going to talk about that in a video. So go ahead and check that out which is called the pre-buy opt-in. All right. So now this is video is ending. Uh, you'll have a, you have a good idea of PPC for Facebook. It's all about testing. You never know until you actually put up an ad if it's a winner or not. So go ahead, take action, and make sure that your cost per day, uh, you keep it pretty low. So my budget's $10 this time. I would say try to keep it you know, under a certain amount that you're comfortable with losing 100% of in the beginning while you're optimizing and trying to figure out how to make a really good ad. Because when you're testing, the number one thing you want to test is the targeting, okay? not the ad. A lot of people think, oh, it's all about the ad. I want to get it super clickable. It's actually more about targeting. You want to find the perfect target of people who are willing to buy your product. And you can do tons of different targeting inside uh, Facebook, as you saw. So whatever your product is, try to get it super targeted. Targeting is always better, even if the bid you know, starts to rise a little bit. So that is what you want to test. Run a couple ads with different targeting. Maybe the age is different. Maybe it's male. Maybe it's female. Maybe it's a news feed ad. Or maybe it's just an ad on the column. Maybe it is you know, an ad towards uh, their interests are different. Another really good one is uh, when they follow people. So interests are 